Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is actually a revision 3 of add insulation to pipe script and the reason why I did add one more revision to this script, uh, the script did work only for, for a millimeters so I needed to change the script to work for all metric units. Uh, now the script works for all metric project units so uh, millimeters, centimeters, decimeters, uh, meters and even this variation meters and centimeters together and that is a one change that I made uh, and the second change is uh, because in the year 2021 or 2022 we did have that change with uh, display units and uh, units in general when Revit switch uh, to the forge units so that script work only for Revit 2021 <clears throat> maybe Revit 2020 uh, but it didn't work for Revit uh, 2022 and this latest 2023 so like okay while I need to, to edit this script let's also make it to work for this latest version of Revit so now the script works for the 21, 22 and 23 version of Revit and later in the video you will see the showcase for each Revit version and I think for each metric unit uh, it was a lot of variation maybe I did skip something but uh, believe me I did test it for all metric units uh, so regarding the code uh, I think that I did decrease dependency of the packages uh, not because I think that was a necessary thing to do but because I did use some nodes that I needed to modify so when you need to modify some nodes I know that I did uh, use uh, some node from the genius locky package but also I did I did uh, add some part where I need to convert uh, units for metric system and for all those variations so uh, that node was uh, not able to stay in the package so now the script uses only data shapes because of the user interface um, and I did modify this script I think 10-15 uh, days ago so uh, I know that I did change this part over here maybe I did change also something over here uh, you have three different videos about this script so if you want to check it step by step just go check previous videos uh, now let, let's just run the script so let's go with meters for example so if you're using Gravity 22 and meters the script must work again it will also work for different versions of Revit and different metric units later you will see in the video uh, now I will just uh, run the script so we can see just this part that I did edit Okay. As always, uh, user interface will read all pipe systems and it will read all pipe insulation types that we have in the model. So we can select the system, we can say, select uh, insulation type and set values. Now the script needs to read all unique pipe uh, size uh, and as must, you must type insulation in millimeters so it doesn't matter what you have for a, a project unit regarding the length it can be meters centimeters millimeters and so on and so on uh, but you must enter uh, the insulation thickness in millimeters so for example let's go with 5 10 15 set values and now if we check in the model so this 50 millimeter uh, pipe have 5 millimeter insulation, 10, 15, also fittings have the same insulation, accessory have uh, the same insulation. Okay, now regarding the change into the script, so again I did use I did use some nodes from the genius uh, locky uh, package. Uh, and I think that over here I didn't change anything but I did forget what was the name of this node sorry about that uh, 
I really don't remember why I did modify this script uh, some time ago. But the thing, yeah, and this node did show the units for all kind of uh, project units, so for angle, for uh, volume, for area, and so on and so on. And the only thing which I did need in this case in the, is the land. So I did leave that the Python code show what is the uh, unit for the land. I will pick up this value. So it is a meter and then I will deliver that information to this node over here. Uh, over here I have predefined behavior for a millimeters. So over here we already have a values in millimeters. So if the project unit stays in the millimeters then we will just pass these values and that's it. Uh, if it's not a millimeter Then we will have conversion, uh, conversion constants basically, uh, because internally in Dynamo you will have, I think, feet uh, as a unit, and then you need to convert that to the metric unit, uh, and we will then cover all those metric cases. Uh, if as a project unit you don't have those values over here, uh, as output from this node over here, you will say you will have this. Uh, node which will say that the unit is not in the metric system um, and okay as a result we will pass those uh, millimeter insulation thickness values to our pipes fitting accessories and basically that's it um, and now you can also see uh, the showcase uh, part for Revit 21, 22 and 23 and also for all those uh, metric units thank you for watching bye